Good morning, friends in Blackwood and further afield. Welcome to our opportunity to pause to pray. Wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, whatever place in the country you're in, then I'm so glad that you're able to join me now as we pause to pray. So it's the beginning of a new week, a new week full of possibilities and opportunities. Uh, some people are uh, continuing to be really busy, working really hard, and so today I want to pray for uh, people who are working in our NHS in all sorts of different uh, aspects of that, that field. Um, most of them have had no break at all over this uh, lockdown period and uh, their energy levels perhaps uh, need to be reboosted. So I've got a Bible verse for, for them and for us today um, because uh, all of us, perhaps whatever we're doing, uh, need sometimes uh, an extra boost of energy and strength uh, we get weary, we get a little bit tired sometimes, and uh, and even that uh, that young fitness uh, chap on on the television, Joe, is it? Uh, I have to admit, I haven't been following him. I did have a gl glance uh, a long time ago, but um, but even he's announced that uh, he's had to reduce the uh, the amount of times he's able to to be present uh, for his fitness exercises. So even the young can get uh, a little bit tired and weary. But we're not tired and weary in meeting together. Uh, in this way to pause to pray so we've got our candle and we light this candle and we uh, we take a moment to acknowledge that we're in the presence of Christ Christ the light of the world my candle comes alive it's good to pause it's good to have our focus upon Christ the living light the living word so my Bible verse or verses for us uh, this week, no long explanation or exposition today, although we can uh, dip into it later on in the week if we've got time. But uh, my bookmark is going to fall open to um, Isaiah. Uh, so the book of Isaiah right towards the middle of the Bible, huge book in the middle of the Bible, fairly easy to find. And Isaiah uh, chapter 40. So Isaiah chapter 40 uh, the last couple of verses of this amazing chapter uh, contain these words from verse 29, if you want to follow with me. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. A recognition really that it is God who gives us the strength that we need. Young or old, uh, we need his strength, his help. Go and read those verses again when we finished. And perhaps they will be a real encouragement to you today and during this week. Make sure you keep your bookmark in there and we'll keep coming back to them uh, during the week. So we're going to pray together this morning. We need to be mindful, of course, of these uh, really sad, really tragic uh, situation that's occurred uh, in Reading over the weekend with the um, the stabbing of uh, three people. Well, more than three people, but three people have lost their lives. So we want to be mindful of those two in our prayers. So we'll pause to pray. Let's pray together. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, you are the source of all hope and strength, full of grace and kindness. Today we want to trust you, we want to rely upon you, we want to seek you as you provide for our deepest needs. We also seek you that you would provide for the needs of our community and our country, for those we know and love, for those we don't know, but you still love. You have faithfully cared for us in the past, and so often seen us through to safety, giving us resilience, perseverance, and strength beyond our own. Grant us that in moments of despondency or desolation, 
or even depression or despair. Grant us the ability to, to look back in gratitude and be refreshed by the remembrance of your past goodness and grace to us. And also help us to turn again to the future in renewed trust and unfailing hope as we rest upon Jesus Christ our Lord. Today we want to value the work that is done in our community and our country. For those undertaking work on what we call the front line, there will be those we know who are frustrated that they are unable to fulfil their normal work-related duties, perhaps as a result of furlough or unemployment or a delayed return to work. So Lord, be with those who would long to work but presently can't. Give them purpose and hope in their day to day. And for those who are currently working, we want to thank you for them. We value those who work in our local corner shops, providing uh, the opportunity for us to get uh, things that we run out of at short notice. And we thank you for those who work in larger shops and supermarkets. <clears throat> We're aware, perhaps, of people who have not long returned to those places of work. Thank you for their willingness to do that. Thank you for the service that is provided in these places. We want to value and thank you for those who work in factories and on production lines. We've remembered in the past and continue to remember those who work in schools and colleges and universities. Their work has been ongoing. Their work has been different. Their work has needed your energy and your strength. Grant them that again this day and this week. We value those and thank you for those who work in GP practices and social services and care homes and nursing homes. We value those in hospitals and in so many sectors of health care and provision. Along with the medical care teams, there are there are many who work in physio and occupational therapies, the podiatrists and chiropodists and orthoptists, there are the speech and language therapists and art therapists. We're grateful for the dietitians and the dentists and the radiographers. And then there are those in the healthcare sciences, biomedical and physiological. Lord, our NHS is full of very skilled and talented people. Lord, Give them resilience and protect them in their work this day and this week. Today we also pause for a moment, mindful of the situation that's occurred in Reading over the weekend with three victims uh, of, of a stabbing attack. We pray today for the family and friends and school and colleagues and pupils of the teacher James Furlong. Lord, would you be all that they are in need of today? Your comfort, your compassion, and your strength. For those others too yet named, who have also been fallen victim to this perpetrator, Father God, be all that they are in need of today, we pray. We do look to you for justice to be served in this situation. We can never know what's in the mind of, of somebody who undertakes such an act. We're not going to pretend to know. But we do come to you asking that you would be righteous and just in your actions. Lord, would you hear our prayers today? At the beginning of a new week, we come and turn to you, seeking your presence and your strength in all that we have before us. And in your mercy, hear our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me. It's uh, good to have you along. Thank you very much. So, do come and join me again uh, later in the week. Uh, we'll pause to pray again. And there'll also be the opportunity for you to pause to ponder as I work my way through some of the wonderful words of Jesus in John chapter 14 and 15. So uh, do make sure that you uh, come and join me again.
See you soon and take care. God bless.